Hey everyone, it's Andy with the Reverb Tome Report, and today I'm delighted to tell you about the new standard production model of the Fender Shields Blender. As you can tell, it has all these extra features on it. It's not just a standard reissue. So let's get into what those are, and then I'll show you the sounds. Longtime user of the Fender Blender, My Bloody Valentine's Kevin Shields recently collaborated with Fender to create a new signature pedal that not only recreated the original circuit, but embellished the interactive qualities that Shields found so inspiring. The Shields Blender has all the original elements, a fat octave up fuzz with the ability to blend the dry signal in for both chaos and clarity in parallel. Only now, with the push of a button, you have the option to disable the octave up portion of the fuzz, while still preserving the blender concept. Carrying that one step deeper is the new sub-octave circuit. The dry signal is swapped out for a fat analog sub-octave signal, complete with its own level control to help you mix your own wall of sound. Not stopping there, the SAG circuit gives the Shields Blender a whole new level of touch sensitivity and interactivity when dialing in various fuzz and octave settings. The trigger control adjusts the threshold of the SAG effect, while the SAG knob goes from simple ducking to dizzing tremolo effects that react in unexpected ways to your picking strength. Finally, the expand foot switch is a simple yet effective way to blow the doors wide open in either original blender or octave blender mode, which is perfect for soaring out in front of a dense mix. Best of all, this standard edition Shields Blender is not a limited run and is available to the masses right here on Reverb. All right, well, there's a lot of new features on this one, but let's just start off with the classic Fender Blender sound. So this is easily done just by hitting the left bypass switch, and we're gonna use a little bit of clean blend here, and then also just isolate the fuzz and see how it sounds. <laughs> First, I was adjusting that clean blend, so you could always hear some dry signal when you have the blend uh, below 100%, and if you just crank it up, you're always gonna hear just the pure fuzz. And of course, we have tone control. We could get it real nice and mellow, and you could really accentuate those upper octaves when you kind of back off on the tone and you use your neck pickup. <laughs> Let's try out that expand foot switch because I think this is a great place to use it when using a little bit of clean blend. The fuzz does get a little bit more muted even if you have the tone up. So let's hear how that expand can really just push things forward. <laughs>
And you could also disable the octave up and still take advantage of that expand foot switch and also use the clean blend. So let's just get a nice fat fuzz tone without the octave up. <laughs> So I could just be happy with those new options with the expand and the switchable octave. Now let's go a octave below. And the cool thing about this one is that it gives you two different mix levels, one for the octave signal and one for the fuzz. And you could, of course, use fuzz without octave up or with it. <laughs> is monophonic just like you know a classic uh, analog octave pedal so you get that kind of glitchy nature and you know that's kind of the fun thing about this pedal is there's a lot of experimentation you could do let's try that sub octave and adjust the level uh, to make the sub actually a lot louder than the fuzz <laughs> And there's one last feature and that's the sag which is very unique and uh, it kind of gives you a uh, almost a swell effect depending on how you set it up or if you kind of do you know double stop bends you get those really uh, interesting interactive qualities that give you sometimes some sputtery tremolo effects so let's see how that works <laughs> kind of want a little bit of uh, you know kind of a dying amplifier effect just dial in that trigger until it really lights up when you hit it hard and then of course the intensity of that effect is with the sag control <laughs>
just like Kevin Shields mentioned in his own video on the blender, this is a pedal that really reacts uh, differently to every player, and especially when you uh, change out uh, pickups. You know, I've been using those Jazzmaster low output pickups. Let's try some humbuckers and see how it really changes the texture and especially that interaction with the SAG circuit. <laughs> Well, there you go, the Fender Shields Blender, something that can go in any direction, whether it be classic octave up fuzz or something a little bit more experimental. And you can find it right here on Reverb. It sure has been a pleasure showing you this one. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite feature is on this new one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>